Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and today I'm actually doing a video for one of my very popular blog topics that I have in my blog site at bjtechnews.org. I've been getting hit tremendously uh, on this particular uh, blog, Microsoft SQL Server Error 18456 Login Fell for a User. Now, I'm going to show you guys how I fix it. You can actually go to my website. I'm actually going to post the link at the bottom. But I'm going to show you guys how to do it on the video side. So let's minimize this. As you can see, I have SQL Server Express. Uh, if I hit connect, I'm able to connect with the Windows on location. So I'm going to disconnect. But a lot of people like to create user accounts or you know SQL Server authentication accounts. I have my SA, which is enabled within my SQL Server. So when I try to connect, let me make sure I got the password correct. This is where you receive that 18456 problem, which I explain in my blog site. Let's press OK. And I'm going to log back in into the Windows authentication. And the way that you fix it is you right click, you go to properties. And within security, you got to make sure that you enable SQL Server in Windows authentication mode. Press OK. It's going to want you to reboot your SQL Server. So the way I reboot is, is I just right click and just restart it and hit yes. A lot of people like to normally go into the services um, application within the administrative tools and just reboot it that way. But it, this works as well. So once it restarts, you're going to get a nice little green uh, little play button. Um, it's synced up. I'm going to disconnect and I'm going to reconnect again. But this time I'm going to use the SQL Server authentication. I'm going to use the SA with the same password that I use. And if everything works well, I should be able to log in into that account. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video on how to solve the Microsoft SQL Server Error 18456 login fail for user. Uh, and I catch you guys later. Peace out.